Hello students hope you all are fine good today we will do revision of chapter 2 that is rise and spread of islam so first we will discuss about pre islamic times conditions in saudi arabia before the birth of muhammad arabia was inhabited by nomads called bedouin at that time their economic status was not too strong so these do nomads were divided into several tribes which moved from place to place in search of food and water they often fought among themselves at that time muhammad belonged to a powerful quraysh tribe before the birth of islam the arabs lacked a unified religious system so each tribe now they have to follow only one god so in makka there was an ancient square shrine called kaaba it housed the idols of 360 gods and goddesses so that time muhammad was only focused on the holy place that is kaaba and muhammad was born in 570 ad in the arabian city of makka in saudi arabia in 610 ad he had a spiritual experience and became a prophet the word islam means submission or complete surrender to god Arabic word for God is Allah. Now we will discuss about early life of Muhammad. Muhammad was orphaned at a very young age and brought up by his uncle Abu Talib. As a teenager, Muhammad started and accompanies his uncle on trade travels to Syria. He became a popular and sincere and a honest person regarding his trade. After a few years, a wealthy widow, Khadija, employed him as an agent to travel with her trade caravans. Muhammad returned with huge profits from these trade travels by impressing by his work. and good character khadija sent a marriage proposal to a muhammad which he accepted and he get married at the age of 25 then muhammad had come in contact with the christians and the jews during his trade travels he was impressed by their monotheist religious beliefs and practices but he did not like idol worship and other polytheist religious practices followed by the people in arabia so after passing time muhammad turned to spiritualism and started going to the hills around makkah for the meditation during one such meditation in cave hira in 610 ad Muhammad turned to the 40 years and he had a vision of angel Gabriel giving him the message of God After series of revelations Muhammad formed a new view about religion whose main points were first there is only one god who is Allah second people must submit to the will of Allah third Allah has chosen Muhammad to be his messenger or a prophet. Angel Gabriel is believed to have visited Muhammad many times over 23 years after the first revelation at Cave Hira. All the verses that Gabriel revealed to Muhammad are compiled in the Quran. The Arabic word Quran means recitation or reading so students after seeing this video go through the chapter and underline the important points 
and learn it so thank you and take care